My first multi-view rig project took me several months to complete, and my most recent MVR projects were done within about a week. In this video, I'll share the five improvements that allowed me to create multi-view rigs in less time with better results. Over a long enough time period, small improvements allow us to get better results in less time. Looking back at my first multi-view rig, I can see a lot of room for improvement. My most recent MVR projects were done within a few days, and the technical details at work below the surface are elegant and intelligent, getting better and better as I go. These are the five improvements that help me create complex multi-view rigs faster and better than ever. Number one, reusing the same artwork as much as I can, specifically for the bicep, arm, thigh, leg, and neck. Number two, use the intersection between the torso and the hips as the true center of the model. I'll explain what that means later and how that helped me work faster. Number three, pin the collarbone to the same joint or remove it altogether. Basically, pin the bicep directly to the torso. Number four, add cosmetic symbols like hair and clothing after the structural symbols are set up. Number five, Use leaf-like or bell-like shapes for draping clothing and pin this at the hips or on the thighs, whichever is gonna make most sense for your character design. Now let's take a closer look at each of these and how they resulted in a faster, better build. Number one, reusing the same artwork for the bicep, arm, thigh, leg, and neck. When it comes to building out a multi-view rig, we're going to be setting up the puppet so we can animate the character from each of those views, which is a great advantage. However, depending on the complexity of your character design, you may need to have artwork for each of those parts of the body. For example, the head. There's absolutely no way that you can reuse the same head for different views. However, if we had to create unique artwork for all 15 or all 20 of the body parts for each of the views, that's an exponential amount of art that needs to be created. And so by reusing as much art as possible, we're gonna reduce the amount of new art that needs to be created and managed across all of those different frames and layers. Number two, use the intersection between the torso and the hips as the true center of the model. Ugh. Now this is something that I wouldn't have understood except for the fact that when I looked at the turnaround on my first MVR project, I really wanted it to be accurate. Like, you understand what I'm trying to go for. When I look at the 360 degree rigs that you can do in other programs, I wanted to do that too. However, it's not technically feasible to try to accomplish that in Adobe Animate. So the next best thing is an MVR, a multi-view rig. When you have your character popping to the different views, you want an accurate dimensional turn. Well, there was something that I didn't really realize on my first MVR project. I designed the character, I drew her from the front and all the different views. However, there's kind of a trick that I didn't exploit that would have allowed me to get a, a more accurate turnaround with less work, and that is the character should be symmetrical. The right and left hemisphere should look the same. Um, however, there are certain aspects of the character that are not really symmetrical. For example, um, her, say her hips, right, as they're turning, if you could say they're heart-shaped, then from the side they'll be narrower than they are from the front. Okay, that's fine. And same thing with the, with the torso. The torso is wider from the front than it is from the side. Okay, cool. Theoretically, when she's turning around on the turntable, there should still be a symmetry or a rhythm that we see as she's rotating around. And if that's the case, then there should be some part of the character that actually stays the same width as it is the same height. It's perfectly square or technically perfectly circular. Well, where would that be? That shape would actually be the intersection between the hips and the torso. However, on my first MVR project, I didn't make that area, that intersection, perfectly circular for all of the different angles, which it should have been. When I realized this, I started in on another MVR project, and sure enough, the result was a faster and more accurate build. So I got a better result in less time. 
I don't know how exactly, but building out a new MVR project where the hips and the torso intersected in a perfect circle for all the different views resulted in a magnificently faster build. Pin the collarbone to the same joints or remove them all together. On two of my absolute fastest MVR builds, I simplified the rig by pinning the arms directly to the torso. Most of the time when I build my rigs, I like to have something called a shoulder shrug. And that is you can raise the shoulders up and lower them to make the character look like she's shrugging her shoulders or maybe reaching up for something high or it allows a, a little bit wider of an emotional range for the character but it also means a more complex build. On my former multi-view rig project, I would basically float the collarbone outside of the torso. But I thought, well, what if I actually joined the collarbones together and had them meet on the spine? Now the rig already manages the collar in the same way. So when I brought the two magnet targets together, the rig didn't change. But structurally, it's a much simpler puppet when the collarbones are joined together. It saves a little time, and it makes for a much more accurate turnaround as the character's going from view to view. Number four, add cosmetic symbols like hair and clothing after the structural symbols are set up. What does that mean? There are certain parts of the rig that need to be put together in order for you to have a whole character. For example, if you didn't have a torso or if you didn't have one of the thighs, the rig would be completely broken. However, things like a skirt or the hair that's hanging down from the back of the character's head are extra pieces that you don't need to be worried about when you're first building out the character. If you add or weld those symbols onto the rig later, it's going to be less for you to worry about and especially with a multi-view rig, it's going to allow you to get to the finish line faster. It'll be much simpler to add the shroud of hair or the skirt after the fact. And number five, use triangular leaf-like or bell-like shapes for draping clothing and pin them at the thigh of the hips. There was a project that I started a while ago with a lot of enthusiasm, but I really stumbled over how to manage clothing. I was excited about the idea of using a puppet. However, with drapery, because of how sometimes unpredictable it can be, it was hard to figure out how to manage it on the rig. Thanks to the help of the guys at Electric Dog and some, <laughs> some creative solutions, using a leaf or a bell-like shape can allow you to create a skirt or a robe or a tunic or loose clothing and have it behave in a way that's similar to the way actual fabric can behave. And again, just like anything related to rigging, you can do things to break it, you can do things so that it doesn't actually work. But for a lot of poses and a lot of action, a bell-like shape that's pinned to the thighs and to the hips can actually work together to simulate how cloth actually works on a real doll. But knowing that ahead of time means a lot less for you to figure out and you can get to the finish line of a fairly complex character in less time with better results. I find that the result reminds me a lot of the leaves of a rose or a tulip where you have the main bell or diamond shape and then you have the leaf-like bell shapes on the thighs. It works really nicely and you have these shapes expanding and folding together in a way that's very, very similar to the way that a skirt or loose clothing would work. So those are the five improvements that I used to create complex multi-view rigs faster and better than ever. And I hope that helps you with your multi-view rig build outs too. I hope you found something helpful I'll see you in the next video.